Good morning, members. Happy Monday. Today we have Mobility Monday. Uh, last week we worked on our upper body. This week we're going to work on our lower body, our hips, calves, quads, hamstrings, etc. We're going to need one piece of equipment, and that one piece of equipment may vary by what you have available to you. Uh, today I'm going to show you options for a foam roller and a lacrosse ball. So if you have neither of these, you can use a basketball, a really inflated volleyball, a croquet ball, really anything like, feel free to use your imagination. I've seen people use broomsticks, barbells, uh, really the choices here are limitless. So let's go over a few mobility exercises and get started. Okay members, so today we're gonna work from the ground up. So we're gonna go ahead and begin with our calves. Um, I'm gonna go through both options so you have an idea of what we're working with. If you have a foam roller, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the foam roller under both or one calf. Now what we're doing is we're rolling back and forth until we find a tender spot, also known as a trigger point. This is really good for recovery and also the lymph system. Um, usually when we exercise, we are uh, you know, actively draining the lymph from our muscles and recirculating it. Um, so this is just a good way to get that moving. If you know, you're still sore from the previous day's workout or the previous weekend, maybe you did a lot of yard work, so if that's not intense and you don't really feel a lot there, what you can do is move it over to one leg and you're gonna go again, find the spot. Okay, so I feel a pretty tight point right there, so I'm gonna hold that for about 30 to 45 seconds. Now, if there's a point in the muscle that's too tender to work on, so let's say this is the point right here. You're gonna move the foam roller to the point of contact above or below about an inch. So that way you're working on the tissue surrounding that area and slowly making your way towards that trigger point. So you're gonna spend about a minute on each calf. So you might get done, you know, one or two trigger points within that time. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and roll up to our hamstrings. Now, if you are using a lacrosse ball, this is gonna be a lot more intense. So what you're gonna do is just place it under one calf. You're not gonna be able to roll on this, but you can pick your weight up and really put it, like lean into that lacrosse ball. Um, this will definitely be more intense, and I recommend if you have a choice between the two, uh, either a lacrosse ball or a foam roller, if you, if this is your first or, you know, maybe fifth time doing this, Start off with the foam roller, see what kind of results you can get. And if you want something a little bit more challenging, feel free to use the lacrosse ball. Next, we're gonna go ahead and begin with our hamstrings. So you're gonna roll forward and backward. Same idea as the calf, you're just looking for a trigger point. And now the hamstring is a much larger muscle, it's more dense. Uh, so we're gonna really have to focus our weight on that muscle. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross my legs and focus on that one hamstring, right? So. Don't find anything here. You can also play with your position as far as internally or externally rotated. So let's say I'm here and I'm pushing into my hamstring. Maybe I don't feel anything in this range of motion, but if I internally rotate my leg, focusing on the interior hamstring or the medial hamstring, excuse me, um, you may feel more tightness in here, especially as we approach the glutes and the hips. Um, external externally rotated, you may feel the lateral hamstring more down towards the knee. Um, again, we're gonna shoot for a minute on each hamstring and then we're gonna move up to the glutes. So what you're gonna do for this is you're effectively gonna sit on the hamstring or sit on your, sit on the foam roller. We're gonna go ahead and cross one leg and you can grab the ankle for support. Now I'm going to roll over towards the cross leg and that is going to work on your hip rotators, right? So, so your glute muscles are, you have three main glute muscles and you have a bunch of rotating muscles in the hip over the glute muscles. So after you do about a minute here, what you can do is switch over to the other leg. So you're just gonna, again, cross your legs. You're gonna grab this ankle here. You're gonna roll over to the side. Now, you may feel two target areas. Um, one on the lower side of your glutes, one on the waistband of your shorts, pants, etc. Uh, this is actually going to be your glute medius, the top of your glute medius, and this is a commonly very tight area. So we're going to go ahead and work on that. Um, what you're going to do for that is the same setup. 
you're just gonna drop down to that elbow and you're gonna really twist over to the side a little bit. And again, you can spend you know, 45 seconds to a minute on each side. Now we're gonna work on our quads. So what you're gonna do is actually a low plank on the foam roller. So again, quads are pretty dense muscle groups, so you may want to cross one leg over, focus on one leg at a time, internally rotate, externally rotate that leg, and then after about a minute of that, you can go ahead and switch the other leg. All right, next we have a stretch. So for the stretch, what we're gonna do is a uh, couch stretch to a hamstring stretch. So it's actually a mobility exercise, but it's two stretches in one. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna start 90 degrees here on the back leg. So the femur parallel to the wall, calf, the tibia and the fibia parallel to the floor, and vice versa. We have the tibia and fibia parallel to the shin bones, parallel to the wall, and our femur is parallel to the floor. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is you're going to extend this front leg out from this position, okay? You're gonna sit back, and then you're gonna lean forward into that stretch. So it's almost like the world's greatest stretch how we were here last week, but um, we're gonna actually go from here and we're gonna sit back. The goal here is to straighten out this leg and almost touch your toe. Now, as you can see, my back, when I'm in that bottom position, is not super flat. It's because I have a very tight back and tight hips. That's one of my quarantine goals uh, to work on. It just increase my mobility and get my lower back and hamstrings uh, more mobile in those positions. So, uh, what I'm gonna do here, again, straighten my leg out, sit down. Now, I feel this lighting up my hamstring, even my calf a little bit mostly my hamstring. So I'm gonna, again, shift my weight forward. Nice stretch in the front of the hips. So a side view of this would be, I'm getting, getting set up in the same position. So I'm starting here, straight back, straight leg, trying to touch my toe, and then shift forward. This is really good if you're about to exercise because it warms up your hamstrings, warms up your hips, warms up your calves. Um, so again, we're gonna do about a minute, minute, 15 seconds on each side. Just get a couple reps in. We're not focusing on how many times you can get from position to position, just seeing how long you can hold each position. You might get three or four, maybe five pass-throughs in a minute and a half, and that's quite all right. The focus here is on the stretch and warming yourselves up for exercise. So have a great day and stay healthy, members.